Right, we need to solve for A, given sine for A equals sine to A, we present uh, the solution to the problem. So to present a solution to this problem, a couple of things we need to consider. But first we have the sine of 4A is equal to the sine of 2A. And uh, what is the meaning of this here? Right, so if this is the case, this means that 4a is equal to 2a plus multiples of the period 360 degrees by k, where k is an element of the set of integers. Okay, this is what we are able to achieve. Then what do we do next? What do we do next? Right, what we do next is to simplify these uh, exactly. So how do we simplify this? So 4a equals uh, 2a plus uh, 360 degrees by k, where k is in z. Right, this means uh, 2a is 360 degrees by k, where k is in z. Dividing both sides by 2, a equals 180 degrees by k, where k is an element of z. Right, with that said, or we have that the sine of 4a is equal to the sine of 2a. Okay, what is this? 4a is the same as what? Right, so First things first here, this is the same as the sine of 180 degrees minus double A. So this is 180 degrees minus twice A plus 360 degrees by K, where K is in Z. Okay, that is what we're able to achieve which means uh, 6a is the same as 180 degrees plus 360 degrees by k, where k is an element of z. And so what is this? This is the same as uh, 6a is the same as uh, what? Is the same as 180 degrees plus uh, 360 degrees by k, where k is in z. So now we divide both left and right by 6, getting 30 degrees plus uh, uh, 60 degrees here by k, where k is in z. Right, so we have the solutions um, as follows. So hence, hence uh, if, we have uh, the sine of uh, 4a equals to the sine of uh, 2a. Then we have that um, a is equal to 180 degrees uh, by k, where k is uh, in z, or a is equal to 30 degrees uh, plus 60 degrees uh, by k, where k is in z. So that becomes so the solution to the problem. And so we are done with this here. And uh, thanks everybody for your time and attention. And uh, goodbye to you.